Hi guys and welcome to Learning Science the Easy Way. It is your favorite teacher, Kaumaji Mwansa. So in this lesson, I am going to talk about oxides. Oxides. So we have to understand what an oxide is and what are some of the types of oxides. So an oxide is a chemical compound with one or more oxygen atoms combined with another atom. For example, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, dihydrogen oxide, lithium oxide, calcium oxide, sodium oxide, there are quite a number of oxides. So here we are saying, if for instance we say uh, Ag is the carbon four oxide, which is the one we are calling as the carbon dioxide. We have carbon monoxide. We have dihydrogen oxide, which we are calling as water. We have lithium oxide lithium oxide so there are quite a number of oxides now so we look at the classifications of oxides so basically the classification of um, oxides depends on the properties that an oxide is able to show when reacted with water or when dissolved in water. So one of the examples or one of the classification is that the oxides are said to be neutral oxides. Neutral oxides. So the neutral oxides, these are oxides which are neither acidic nor basic so these oxides are neither acidic no basic meaning they do not show any acidic properties or any basic properties when dissolved in in water eg carbon monoxide carbon monoxide you can also say the nitrous nitrous oxide another one is nitric oxide So these are some of the basics which are said to be neutral oxides. Another example of oxides, we can say the basic oxides. Basic oxide is an oxide that shows basic properties. So we're saying these they show basic properties. So in short, these basic oxides, we can also say these are just metal oxides. These are metal oxides. So for instance, if we have sodium oxide that is a basic oxide so when it dissolves in water when you dissolve it in water you are going to have sodium hydroxide so the basic oxides they are able to dissolve in water to form an alkali if you have calcium oxide when you dissolve it 
and water you are going to have calcium hydroxide so you are going to have calcium hydroxide so basic oxides these are oxides that portrays basic properties or that forms an alkali when they are dissolved in water so the other class of oxides you can say three uh, acidic oxides so the acidic oxides show acidic properties they show acidic properties and at the same time these oxides we can say these are oxides of nonmetals these are oxides of nonmetals so now if we have the oxides of nonmetals in short we are saying when these oxides of nonmetals dissolve in water they are going to form an acidic solution for example if you have carbon dioxide when carbon dioxide dissolves in water you are going to have carbonic acid when it dissolves in water you are going to have carbonic acid so you have the carbonic acid then you have the sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide which when you dissolve in water you are going to have sulfurous acid sulfurous acid so you have and at the same time if you have nitrogen dioxide you have nitric acid so the other one is um, amphoteric amphoteric oxides so the amphoteric oxides show both acidic and basic properties so this one we're saying they show both acidic and basic properties for example zinc oxide one of the examples of the amphoteric oxides aluminium oxide is another example of the amphoteric oxides also lead oxide is also an example of the amphoteric oxide so the amphoteric oxides these are oxides that show both acidic and basic properties. I hope you followed through. Thank you for watching.